All right, what's happening? Tom Childs, Chris Forsberg here with Celtics Post Game Live. A 50 point win for the Celtics over the Brooklyn Nets. And if there was any you know, concerns about it, how are guys going to respond? Final game kind of before school gets out for a two week vacation or, you know, eight days, anyways. The Celtics put that to bed pretty much right away. How appropriate on the night that Eddie is on the call, we get the molliest of whoppings. Yes. In the season. I guess it wasn't even their biggest win of the season. That Indiana win was slightly bigger. But. This just felt the most lopsided because they were just toying with them the entire night on both sides of the ball. And yes, I was worried a little bit about like what the energy level would be. And then Derek White goes on and is a plus 44 in 29 minutes. And Jason Tatum is awesome and doing everything. So credit to the Celtics. We've talked a lot this season about you know needing to focus in certain moments, whether it's coming off a loss or whatever the case may be. Man, they were just like, they, they, they went into the break with some serious momentum here, not with, just with in terms of, of how far ahead they are in the Eastern Conference standings, but just with dominating performance and feeling good about yourself. They, they put up 136 points, Chris, and Porzingis didn't play in the second half. He had 15 at halftime. Jason Tatum only had 20, which means like it just the, the scoring up and down is, is off the charts from, from all of the supporting cast in this one, including Sam Hauser standing by with Abby Chin. Sam, there could have been a lot of excuses in this game. Second night of a back-to-back -back heading into the break, but you guys came out with a defensive intensity that was on another level. What was the key to putting this game away early? You know, we, we, we're just taking it a day at a time. You know, we, our goal every day is to win the day, and we did that today. So, you know, um, it's a good treat going into all-star break now winning, you know, this big, but we were just trying to focus on today. Yeah, you have won six straight, 43-12. and 12. How are you feeling about where you guys are at? Yeah, I mean, big picture, it's been a good season so far. Um, get some time to rest up, get our minds and bodies right, come back and finish this thing out for the rest of the year. But um, definitely still some areas to get better at. Sam, we had Luke mic'd up, and we caught him singing on the bench. Whitney Houston, I want to dance with somebody. Does, does he do that often? Luke can hold a tune. He, play, he can play the piano, so anybody who can play the piano can hold a tune. One big positive of tonight, you guys got a lot of minutes for the Stay Ready group. What stood out to you about those guys? Just that, just being ready when your number's called. Um, everybody who checked in tonight played really well, and they were ready to go when their number was, was called. So it was good to see Jay Walsh out there, you know, getting some real minutes with the big club, and um, he's shown growth, and everybody, you know, like I keep saying, you know, we work hard every day, and, you know, these opportunities are times for us to shine. I'm sorry we couldn't get you into the three-point contest, but I hope you have a great time over the break. All right, it's all right. Sam, thank you. Congrats. All right, so Sam Hauser, uh, first of all, we're, we're going to have more from Luke Cornett, who was mic'd up uh, tonight, which was pretty awesome. He did a phenomenal job with that. Uh, and then he was referencing Jordan Walsh there, the, the rookie, getting yeah. off the bench early, getting some time with, with the starters in this one. I, I love that. In the first half, he had that, like, swipe and, and, and picked the pocket and went the other way, fumbled the ball. But, like, it's just any chance you get – there were times at the start of the season I was like, I don't know if Jordan Walsh is going to play at all. And to get an extended look at him in a game like this is just another benefit. I, I felt like this game was going to be one where you might need like some sort of energy or spark. It turns out you didn't need it, but the added benefit is, is even when the starters rolled out, you throw Jordan Walsh in there, you throw O'Shea Brissett in there for energy, Peyton Pritchard had a great night. So what a luxury to be able to go deeper into your bench and still get ridiculous output. Yeah, again, it was a 36-point game at the half. Uh, Celtics win this one by 50. We bring in Eddie House now. And, all right, so Eddie <laughs> took care of business. He didn't just get the win, Eddie, but <laughs> a 50-point win. And uh, that, that's, as Eddie House would call it, would be a molly whopping. Yeah, it definitely was. Uh, and I like that number 50. It sounds good. Yeah. I mean, we could go to the stats, but guess what I'm going to do with these? Hey, get them up out of here because it was a molly whopper. There's no need to talk about the numbers or anything like that. I say what the, the Celtics did from the beginning of the game, I thought they expressed how dominant they were on the defensive end. I thought uh, perimeter defense was impeccable. They were sliding their, feet, their hand, sliding their feet. Their hands were extremely active. They got multiple deflections on multiple possessions back-to-back. Um, Lou Cornette anchoring the defense, had his three block shots. And then I thought that just spearheaded the offense. From that point of having being locked in defensively, on the offensive end, their spacing was great. And they took advantage of every single matchup that they could take advantage. They exploited the Brooklyn Nets tonight. Eddie, as uh, someone who harnessed the power of the headband during your playing days, 
Did Jason Tatum and Derek White tap into something tonight? Do they need to continue to wear the headbands moving forward? I don't know. I was tripping off that when they came out. I was like, okay, HB. <laughs> HBG, right, the headband gang, right? They came out and, and they were like gangbusters. And I mean, if that's something that is going to give you power, you know what I mean? You know how Samson, it was his hair, right? Maybe it's the headband for these guys, you know? And if that's it, then let's roll with it, whatever it is. But I love the way that we went into the All-Star break, took care of business, and now you have time to reflect, re relax a little bit, get away from the game, and reset your mind. And Drew Holiday spoke about that last night. It's like refreshing your mind for that last stretch run. And it's going to be a sprint. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. But, you know, I think this team is setting themselves up and putting themselves in a great position to do that. All right, one more before we let you go. But what did you just think of the compete, the professionalism of the Celtics going into this game? I mean, again, it could have been one of those, well, they go up by 36 and then maybe they slow things down in the second half. But they, they just went out there and just dominated from start to finish like this was their final chance to play some basketball for eight days. Giles, they could have had every excuse to not come in tonight, and they could have came in and laid an egg, but they didn't. I just thought their, their attention to detail defensively was off the charts, and it was not only one guy. I seen uh, Jason Tatum switched out on on, on Miles Bridge, um, excuse me, um, uh, on, on Miles uh, the one time, and and uh, what he did just slid he slid his feet, slid his feet, contested the shot. Then we closed our possession out with a rebound. Then I, I seen multiple efforts from guys. It wasn't just I was there helping. Once the help happened, they passed, and it was the old cliche and the, the old statement that you say, you got to help the helper that helps the helper, which means it never stops. And I thought we were on the, the proverbial string tonight defensively. They played extremely hard. It led into great offensive opportunities, and it was just one of those games. So everybody that was here, it, it, it's Valentine's Day, right? And besides me having the, the honor of working with the legend and, and being able to call a game with him, I mean, to, to see this type of game that happened. And it's Valentine's Day, so it was nothing but love given out. Nothing but love. The Celtics gave love to the fans, gave love to me, gave love to you. And, I mean, you know, it's time for the All-Star break now, you know, and everybody else gets some love. I'm not sure the Nets felt much love tonight. But. That's true. Uh, but you know what? That, that's okay. Someone, someone had to play that role. We're that, not that's worried about the Nets. Did. Yeah, exactly.